How hard is it to be an entrepreneur? Very hard. It's very different than working a wage job. A totally different mindset is needed as an entrepreneur. By comparison, a wage job is cushy and safe. Wage workers will say, my job isn't cushy and safe at all. Exactly. By comparison, in terms of risk, that 9 to 5 job is much safer and easier. As an entrepreneur, no one else will ever hand you a paycheck for showing up. No one will give you health insurance. Or benefits. If you don't show up, the work doesn't get done. Period. If your employees all call out, you better roll up your sleeves and solve the problem. You will probably have to figure out what your product actually is. If your product doesn't exist, you have to make. From the ground up. Source suppliers, manufacturers, packagers, etc. And after you make it, you have to figure out how to make it cost effective. And in such a way that customers will still actually want it. Often harder than it sounds. And you have to make sure customers know you exist. And that they can feel they benefit from what you're selling. And once you have those customer relationships, keep them alive. And you'll have to manage staff. And you will always pay them before you pay yourself a dime or suffer the immense penalties. Sometimes, you may have nothing left over for yourself. When there's nothing in your fridge and you're praying you can make payroll, your employees will still complain that they aren't paid enough for dicking around with Facebook and angry birds while on the job. You will probably work 12 to 16 hour days, 6 days a week until, or if, you ever reach sustainable revenue. If you show up late to work, your employees will follow your lead. If you show up underdressed, your employees will follow your lead. If you show up with a shitty attitude, your employees will follow your lead. If you slack, they will slack. The vast majority of employees don't care about the business, not the way you have to. They don't personally care about revenues, profitability, or efficiency. They just want a check. They'll go elsewhere if they can. This isn't good or bad. Employer-employee loyalty goes both ways, and in the real world there's not much on either side. This is now the world where employees will dick around at the time clock waiting to punch out, intentionally punch out 3 to 10 minutes late for a few months, still collect the money for it, then sue you for not paying overtime. Such is the life of an entrepreneur. You will have copious amounts of paperwork that constantly needs completing. You will learn to despise regulations that seem to do nothing except prevent you from doing business. And, often, that will be the reason for the paperwork. Especially if your competitors are large, entrenched, and have money to burn on lobbyists and a many-year head start. You'll learn the various taxmen want between 35-70% to 70 of your gross profits. So, you'll pay accountants and lawyers to get your taxes low enough so you can earn a decent profit. And you'll hear a few brain-dead employees mumbling that number should be higher because they want benefits but don't want to pay for them. Very common experience, friends and family members will consistently discourage you. For most, they will offer no encouragement whatsoever. However, some entrepreneurs are very lucky. These people ultimately want you to make their life better, and to them that means a predictable schedule and paycheck from you. And they may not even be wrong. No one can predict the future perfectly. So be prepared to doubt yourself, at least subconsciously, pretty much every waking moment. You can easily miss important life events. People in your life will think you don't care, and treat you proportionately poorly. Even if the exact opposite is why you're doing what you're doing. Other people won't see it that way. No one will validate your model, your idea, your vision except the very dispassionate market. Customers are fickle and brutal and they have every right to be. If they aren't buying, you are the problem. You're doing something wrong? What are you doing wrong? Most of the time, you'll never know. Where it's critically important, you're going to spend a lot of time and energy figuring it out. If your employee screws up, you screwed up. You are responsible for things you didn't personally do. You are still responsible for every bad thing you allowed to happen or couldn't prevent. That's how it works. If your business fails, it's because you failed. The blame ultimately lies with no one else. Wasn't the right time? The market crashed? A new regulation killed your business? 
rationalize your failure however you want. It doesn't change the lack of profits going into your bank account. Yes, it can also be rewarding. If your business goes well, you can make more money, maybe, than a waged employee. But there's a lot more risk. And there is much 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 harder than showing up, doing assigned tasks, and collecting your check. The only reason anyone gets a paycheck from a new, small, mid-sized business is because someone's with equity is probably doing all the heavy lifting above. How hard is what precisely? 1. Thinking up a great new business idea? So easy, I have 10 a day and they are all virtual winners. 2. Finding out that your greatest idea has already been done by a 16-year-old high school dropout that sold it to Google for $5 million just yesterday? Well it sucks, let's start again. 3. How about realizing that nobody really wants what you are selling after you spent weeks building it? It is hard. I won't lie to you, it is very hard. But you simply start again. 4. And what about hearing from friends and family that you should rather get a real job? I kid you not. Being an entrepreneur is apparently not a job. This loneliness is truly hard. And then you suck it up and start again. 5. And then there are the people you consider partners. Boy is it fun when they steal your business right from under you, then try their best to keep you from making money. This is harder than you expect. Even with your spirit nearly broken, you start from scratch. 6. Then you somehow survive all this crap and do something that seems to work. But 18 months later business just magically dries up. And not the Disney fairy kind of magic either. That bitter, evil kind of magic that makes Jafar look like a parlor magician coughing up rainbows and sprinkles. 7. So you beg, borrow and sell the living poop out of whatever you have and somehow survive this. But then the government realizes that you are trying to make an honest living and crack down on you, taxing you all the way to negative Kelvin. This part is also hard. But you pay what you can, when you can and start again. 8. And somewhere in between you did this thing people do. You got married and maybe even had children. Somewhere down the line when you are broken, battered and beaten, you can barely look your family in the eyes because once again you were tripped up and don't know where rent will come from next month. This is one of the hardest things. But you wipe your tears, stand up from your butt and start again. But in all of this flailing about in the deep end of a violent and inhospitable world your mind grows up. You develop a thick skin, a sharp sense, discipline and grit. And one day you simply forget that you are an entrepreneur. You forget about making millions. You forget about big houses and fast cars. This all means nothing. That day you start bearing the fruits of years of self-inflicted abuse and people can't get enough of you. You start generating real value to real people and you start seeing the difference you have made in their lives. Yes, you. And in that moment every scar makes sense. Every bleeding day where you couldn't face yourself becomes part of the greatest story a man can possibly tell, I built something that made the world a better place. So yes, being a new entrepreneur is hard beyond the imagination of most. But it has the potential for making a real difference in the world. And that is a reward far greater than money or fame. When you are an entrepreneur you are a predator, you hunt, you kill, and you eat what you can until the scavengers come. How hard it is for you is dependent on the type of predator you are, there are cheetahs who run fast, they catch their prey but cannot hold it. They have a high metabolism little fat storage. They must eat often to survive, but they have little strength to fight off scavengers. Being a cheetah is hard. A lion is bigger and stronger than a cheetah but not as fast, to maintain their size they have to eat a lot more. Because they are strong they do not have to content much with scavengers, However they do need to hunt bigger prey, the bigger the prey the higher the risk of death during the hunt. Because they hunt as a pride, they tend to have better success, it is hard to be a lion but not as hard as it is to be a cheetah. A leopard is not as big and strong as a lion, not as fast as a cheetah what the leopard has is intelligence. They use stealth to hunt and take their prey up a tree. They face not the same danger as lions face from their prey, or the scavengers a cheetah faces. However, they do face the danger from other leopards. Being a leopard is hard, but not as hard as being a cheetah or a lion. 
The hyena has insane stamina and hardly ever gets tired. They hunt in a pack and scavenge from other predators, even lions at times. They don't have to deal with scavengers being except from lions, though not always. However, they have a large pack, and a large pack comes with many mouths to feed. It is hard to be a hyena, but not as hard as it is to be a leopard, lion or cheetah. However, as hard as it is for any of the predators it is not as hard for a cheetah to be a cheetah than it is for a cheetah to be a lion, a lion to be a leopard a leopard to be an hyena and an hyena to be a cheetah. You see, being an entrepreneur is not only about catching your customer, but also about keeping your customer. The type of entrepreneur you are determines the type of customer you must catch and keep. The moment you catch your prey your competition starts trying to steal it. This is the law of the wild. This is way of the entrepreneur.